Okay, so before any small talk, I wanna get straight to the point of this video. Google tracks and stores a lot of your information, and that includes clips of everything you have ever said while using its voice services. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find those audio clips, delete them, and opt out of the system so that no more clips get recorded, or at least stored. First of all, you wanna make sure that you're logged into your Google account. Then you wanna head over to your account page. On Android, you can do that by going into your settings, tapping on Google, and then tapping on Google account. Now, the path to this page may not be the same on every phone, and it's obviously not the same on desktop. So, to save some time, you can simply use this link, which will be included in the video description. Once you're here, you wanna tap on data and personalization, then head over to the voice and audio page, and finally tap on manage activity. This is the place where you can scroll down to find all the audio clips that Google recorded and stored over the years. You can tap or click on the play buttons to listen to any of the clips, and you can delete them individually like this. Now, to delete all of them or a bunch of them from a specific time period, you wanna tap on the options button in the top right corner and then tap on delete activity by. Here you can delete clips from a preset time frame or you can set your own custom time frame. So for example, everything after April 1st and before April 14th. To delete everything, you wanna select all time. Once you've made up your mind, you're gonna tap delete and then Google's gonna give you a few of those messages that are intended to make you doubt yourself. But since you're persistent, you're gonna click okay on everything it throws at you. And there you have it. So now if you go back to the voice and audio activity page and tap on manage activity, down here it should say no activity. Now, if you don't want Google to store any more clips from now on, you need to head back to the voice and audio activity page yet again and turn the feature off by tapping on this toggle switch. Here it's gonna tell you that this setting does not affect the saving of information by other Google services, but if you've made up your mind, best you can do is tap on the pause button and you'll be opted out. Have in mind that this can affect some Google Assistant features. For example, here you can see that it's not letting me use the OK Google command without agreeing to the terms of service, and if I do so, it will eventually ask me to turn the voice and audio activity back on. So it's a trade-off, but I guess it's all about what you prioritize privacy or convenience. So now the small talk. This video was sort of inspired by a video by Lewis Rossman titled Google's breaches of privacy have gone too far in which he talked about how Google records and stores audio clips of anything you say while using its voice services. This is something I personally have been aware of for quite some time. And if you have any sort of online presence, which includes a Google account, then you've probably heard about this stuff too. Information is the main fuel for Google's operations and the more they can get, the better they can be in making and improving their products and ultimately in making money, which is the end goal for any business. Let's be real. My philosophy has always been sort of like, I really don't have anything spectacular to hide. I'm deeply invested in the whole Google ecosystem, and if tracking my online activities is going to make my user experience better, then I really don't have a big issue with that. But after watching Lewis's video, out of curiosity, I decided to go into my own account page to see just how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. And when I found a bunch of audio clips of me talking to the Google Assistant back from 2016, it just didn't feel right. Since this is something users are automatically opted into, I think it's important to more openly make people aware of it so that they can make their own decision. If that's something you agree with, then please share this video with your friends or anyone else you think also might find it important. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.